It's the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Tuesday, June 28th. I'm James Spann. Scattered showers and storms still possible today, especially south of Interstate 20, and then drier air arrives tomorrow. How long will it stay? Let's take a look. Water vapor satellite view as the day begins. A little troughing north of the state. It's pushing a weak surface boundary down our way. That'll be working through North Alabama. And as the day begins, that was the radar at 513 this morning. Had some light rain showers uh, in parts of Marion, Winston, Cullman, Blunt, Marshall counties moving east. And again, that's ahead of that boundary. It's a muggy morning. Temperatures are in the 70s. We'll expect a high around 90 in most spots today, but some of you might stay in the 80s. Uh, because of the earlier showers and clouds around today. But the watch warning map got some fog issues north of our state over parts of Tennessee. Otherwise, things are quiet. That's the severe weather outlook today and tonight. Severe weather risks well to the northeast and northwest. No organized severe weather expected today. And then tomorrow, drier air working in here. The uh, northern half of the state should be totally dry. And the same thing on uh, Thursday, which is day three. So uh, really after today, if you are over north or central Alabama, you'll be dry for a few days. Now, this is the rain for the next five days, valid through Sunday morning. And we always say these maps are not that useful in summer because of the scattered nature of the storms. The rainfall variability is tremendous from one side of town to the other, but uh, about a quarter inch for North Alabama, one inch for the Gulf Coast. But again, if you're beach bound, don't panic when you see that. Weather looks pretty typical for the Gulf Coast through the 4th of July weekend. You'll see a pretty decent amount of sun every day with a few scattered storms around. Pretty standard stuff. And tropics, no worries here. No tropical storms to deal with this week or over the 4th of July weekend. Things are quiet across the Atlantic Basin. All right, model fans, what do you say we take a look? This is the uh, GFS, the 06Z run, valid today at 1 o'clock local time. We've got a 594 heat bubble over the southwest, troughing north of the state. And again, got a surface boundary that will be somewhere over north Alabama. This is the precipitable water coming off the high-res HER, valid today at 5. And I think this is a pretty valid way of looking at where the front will be and you can almost pick it out where you see the precipitable water values uh, over one and a half, basically Interstate 20. So more than likely by late this afternoon, the better chance of showers and storms will be south of Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, uh, especially down there in the southern part of the state where you see those very high precipitable water values in excess of two inches. And notice how it's much drier over north Alabama if you're in places like Huntsville, the Shoals, Scottsboro, today should be mostly dry. Tomorrow, the northern half of the state should be dry, partly to mostly sunny. Dew points coming down a little bit. High will be around 90. Same thing on Thursday. I think the day will be dry, the high close to 90. And Friday, same thing. Could there be a shower? Yes, but most of you, dry. Friday's high in the low 90s, a good supply of sunshine. Hey, we got a 4th of July weekend coming up. This is Saturday. Looks pretty dry. Again, we'll mention a slight chance of an afternoon shower, but that looks like a mostly sunny day. And quite frankly, Sunday looks the same. Uh, the, the models are trending drier with any showers pretty widely spaced. We'll mention the chance of an afternoon storm. You almost have to. Otherwise, hot, muggy, mid-90s. In Monday, uh, we've seen evidence that maybe the ridge a little weaker, moisture a little higher. Maybe a little better coverage of scattered showers and storms on Monday, which is the 4th of July. And a week from today, Tuesday, July 5th, pretty standard stuff. Flat ridging here, storm track on the Canadian border, a moist air mass, scattered showers and storms with a high in the low 90s. This is the end of the forecast period, Thursday of next week, same thing, 594 heat to the west. We got ridging here. Enough moisture for a few scattered showers and storms. Very classic summer weather. You can see uh, next few days, highs around 90. Next week, highs low to mid-90s with lows mostly in the 70s. Sure, looks like July in Alabama. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4. 
5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.